Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be having a look at the Frigate add-on within Home Assistant. This add-on has recently been updated, so we're just going to be having a look at some of the changes and some of the improvements that have been made. So the first thing we need to do is actually download the add-on. To do that, we just come to this GitHub page, which I'll have linked in the description. We just scroll down and click on this Add Add-on Repository to My Home Assistant button. Once you click that, you'll need to change the URL so it's pointing to your home assistant and then click open link. From here, you just click add. I've already got it in my store, so I get this error message here. And you'll probably need to refresh the page afterwards for it to appear in the store. So the one we want today is just this one here called frigate. A point to note here, if you don't already have the frigate.yaml configuration file in your home assistant, this add-on will not start. I've made a video already explaining how to create this file. I'll have that linked in the description below. So this is just assuming you've already got that configuration file ready to go. Hit start and then we can go to open web UI. After clicking open UI, you'll be taken to this bird's eye view of all your cameras. On the left, you can see I've got a couple of groups that are made. You can create these groups by clicking this plus icon here and you give your group a name, plus you add in whatever camera you want on that group, and then just hit save. A bit further down, we have the review section. So this is a quick glance view of any events or alerts that have happened in your home system. You can export any of these clips or any of the recordings while you're on this review page. So if we just click on this clip here and click export, Say for example, I did select from timeline, we can adjust how much of the clip or recording we want to export. So if we do from here, click save export, and all your exports will be listed on this page here. And from here you can download, edit, or delete the export. Moving on to the settings, we'll start from the top at system metrics. So this overview page here, we've got the CPU performance and next is storage. So how much storage each individual camera is using as well as all your recordings. And then finally we have cameras. So this is just individual metrics for each camera. Next, we've got system logs. This is pretty much identical to the old Frigate. So we've got Frigate, GoToRTC and Nginx logs here. Hopefully you won't need to come here, but if you do need to debug any issues you're having with Frigate, this is where you do it. Settings and configuration editor, I'll get to in a bit. We've got appearance for the UI, so light or dark mode, and the theme as well, you can change whatever color you want your theme. And then as always, you've got the documentation and GitHub buttons here to take you to the relevant site if you need further help. So going back to configuration settings, it will take you initially to the general settings, so sort of global settings for all your cameras. I've left them all at the default for now, but it gives you a brief description of what, what each thing does. Moving on to camera settings, on the top right, bear in mind that you need to switch in between the individual camera that you want to change the setting on. So, so if I wanted to change my front door, rear link doorbell, camera settings, just click there and it would be all the settings relevant for that camera. A bit further down this page, you'll have alerts. There won't be anything in here until you create zones on that camera. So that being said, let's go on mass and zones. I've already got two zones here on this kitchen camera, as well as a motion mask. So creating a zone, just hit this plus button here. Give it a name. Inertia by default is set to three. If you set this higher, an object would need to be in the zone for a longer period of time before being alerted, and vice versa if the number is set lower. Loitering time. This seems to be the same as inertia, however, this is based on the amount of time rather than the amount of frames that the object needs to be in the zone. And then right at the bottom, you can specify what objects you want to look out for within the zone. And then actually creating the zone. We can just click on the screen here where we want the zone, create a little box. You can drag little points out. So say I wanted to have my zone up here for some unknown reason. And if you want to add more points to this zone, just click around the box and it will add more points, which you can 
then drag out to your desired location. And once you're happy with your zone, you just come down here and click save. And then for the motion masks, same again, click the plus icon and just, and just draw a box on the camera where you want the motion mask. So I've already got one just covering out all this section here where I don't want it to detect any motion. And then further down we have object masks. So you can see here it says uh, they use to filter out false positives for a given object. So this is specifically for objects, not motion. And again, plus icon, draw your box, and then hit save. Next, we've got motion tuner. And the first setting here is the threshold. So it's the sensitivity to pixel luminance changes. So higher values equals less sensitivity to minor changes. And the default here is set to 30. Contour area, so this determines the minimum size of pixel groups to be considered as motion. So it filters out any small movements. By default, it's set to 10. And lastly is improved contrast. So it enhances contrast in dark scenes for better motion detection. And by default, this is set to on. Debug, very similar to the previous Frigate version. Just a quick view access to the changes you've made and see if anything further needs tweaking. So you can click on zones and it will tell you where the zones are on this camera. Same for motion masks. And then finally, we've got the users section. This section lets you grant access to other users with a username and password if you so wish to give anyone else access to your Frigate instance. Next, we've got the configuration editor. So this will take you straight into the frigate.yaml file. Here you can adjust what cameras to include, fine tune specific camera settings and everything else. The settings we made on the previous camera settings page, they're all going to be updated within here. Some of the settings need to be configured in here because they weren't on the previous settings page, so stuff like record, output arguments, they'll need to be done within here. Any changes you do make in this configuration file, just come up here, hit save and restart. That will save the configuration file and restart just the frigate add-on. Again, I do have another video that I've created, which I'll have linked in the description, which will walk you through all the stuff you need to know about your frigate.yaml file. And that's it for this video. So it's just a quick run through of the latest frigate update showing all the changes and improvements that have been made. There will be follow-up videos to this, which will show you the latest update of the Frigate card, as well as an update video on the latest Frigate blueprint for notification automations. As always, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button, and I'll see you next time.